Hi everyone, welcome to Pharma Overview. Today's topic is Scrub Typhus Disease, an Emerging Update. So, what is Scrub Typhus? It is also known as Bush Typhus. It is a mite-borne disease caused by a bacteria called Orentia Zutsugumushi that is transmitted to humans by an arth arthropod vector of the Trombuculidae family. The term scrub is used because of the type of vegetation that harbors the vector. The word typhus means fever with stupor or smoke. Sutsuga means small and dangerous. Mushi means insect or mite. Orangea sutsugamushi is transmitted by trombuculate mite larvae which is called as shiggers which feed on forest and rural rodents including rats, wolves and field mice. Human infection also follows a sugar bite. Mortality rate of for scrub typhuses ranges from less than 1% to 50%. About epidemiology, most cases of scrub typhus occur in China, Japan, India, Northern Australia, Pakistan, Thailand, Malaysia, Taiwan, Tibet, Russia, South Korea and Nepal. The regions in which scrub typhus is endemic is referred as Sutsugumashi Triangle. It is first described in Japan in 1899. Etiology of scrub typhus Orensha Tsutsugumushi is the causative agent of scrub typhus. It is an obligate intracellular pathogen. Genus name is Orensha. It is 0.5 to 0.8 micrometer in wide and 1.2 to 3 micrometer in length. It is a rod shaped bacterium and cultured in cell monolayers. Stain used for the identification is Gimsa stain. It is found throughout the mite's body but is present in greatest number in salivary glands. Pathogen does not have a vacular membrane, thus it grows freely in the cytoplasm of infected cells. Vector of Orensha Tsutsugumushi Vectors are Leptotrombidium delins, Leptotrombidium akamushi. The infection is transmitted through the larval mites or shiggers. Host for scrub typhus. Main hosts are small rodents, particularly wild rats of subgenus ratus. The field rodents and the vector mites acts as a reservoir and between the two the infection perpetuates in nature. Pathogenesis of scrub typhus Orensha tsutsugumushi invades the endothelial cells and produce disseminated vasculitic and perivascular inflammatory lesions which results in vascular leakage and end organ injury. It induces the formation of several cytokines such as granulocyte colony stimulation factor, macrophage CSF, interferon gamma and tumor necrosis factor. The cytotoxic T lymphocytes and the NK T cells play an important role in drawing the infected host cells. Clinical symptoms of scrub typhus. The average incubation period of Orensha Tsutsugamoshi in humans is 10 to 12 days. The most common symptom is fever which starts abruptly followed by headache, drowsiness, apathy, pain in the shins and other muscles. At onset of fever, first sign in patients is a vesicular lesion 
at the site of mite feeding which later on become an SR or an ulcer with regional lymphadenopathy. Patients with untreated disease remain febrile for about 2 weeks and have a long convalescence for 4 to 6 weeks thereafter. Diagnosis of Scrub Typhus There are different methods. Worst method is direct method. It's by isolating the pathogen in cell cultures and detect by PCR. That is polymerized chain reaction. Another method is indirect methods, mainly the serological tests like wheel felix test, indirect immunofluorescent antibody, the immunochromatographic test, indirect immunoperoxidase test, western immunobloat assay, enzyme-linked immunoabsorbent assay. The other tests are cerebrospinal fluid evaluation and chest radiographs can be done for patients with signs of scrub meningitis and respiratory symptoms respectively. Specimens used for the diagnosis are skin or lymph node biopsy, heparinized blood, EDTA blood and serum. Treatment of scrub typhus Antibiotics are most effective if given soon after symptom begins. The recommended treatment regimen is doxycycline 2.2 mg per kilogram per dose BID per oral or intravenous. Maximum 200 mg per day for 7 to 15 days. Another is tetracycline 25 to 50 mg per kilogram per day divided every 6 hours per oral maximum 2 gram per day per oral duration 7 to 15 days. The other antibiotics are azithromycin 500 mg orally for 3 days, rifampicin and roxithromycin. Pregnant women may be given trimethoprim or sulfamethoxazole 160 mg or 800 mg twice a day throughout pregnancy but not beyond 32 weeks gestation. Chloramphenicol also an alternative treatment which is given as 500 mg orally or IV 4 times a day for 7 days. Preventive measures Main prevention is avoidance of the mite human contact. It can be done by wearing protective clothing or also impregnating the clothes with mitizidal chemicals like 0.5% permethrin and benzyl benzoate and also apply the mite repellents like diethyl tolomide to exposed skin surfaces. Mites from sites should be eliminated by apply applying chlorinated hydrocarbons like lindane dieldrin and chlordane to the ground and vegetation area. Lathering with soap in a hot bath or shower will remove both attached and unattached triggers. For short exposure, chemoprophylaxis with doxycycline 200 mg weekly can prevent the disease but permits the infection. That's about the scrub typhus update. If you find it useful, you can please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching Pharma Overview. Bye.